they had known me as happy-go-lucky, positive AJ, the coach, the entrepreneur, and it seems like everything's going well for AJ. I wasn't at that medium disclosure level, and I certainly wasn't at heavy. I thought I could rush the process. I thought with these acquaintances, I could just say, oh man, work is really stressing me out. I'm struggling. And one of them actually had a ton of success. So he was moving the opposite direction. His business was skyrocketing with COVID and mine was taking a fall and a tumble. And I shared, I saw his reaction. He didn't know how to handle it. He didn't really know how to respond. It was outside of what I'd normally shared. Now, he wasn't negative, he didn't make fun of me, he didn't poke anything at my vulnerability, but it took him a little while to warm up. We hung out again, same thing, things are going well in his business. Fast forward a year and a half, and he invites me out to sushi, and we're sharing, and things at Art of Charm have gotten back on track. I'm excited about some military work that we're doing, and we have some corporate contracts, and we're now launching new programs that we're really excited about. So I'm back to being passionate, excited AJ, and he sits down, and after a few bites of sushi, he admits to me that he had a huge lawsuit in his business, and he got really vulnerable. And at the end of that sushi dinner, he said, to be honest, I hadn't shared that with anyone. But I really appreciated you about a year and a half ago sharing with me the struggle that you were having in your business. And that let him get to a level of vulnerability and comfort with me to finally open up. So I point this out because I didn't write him off. I didn't say I could no longer be friends or acquaintances with you because you didn't respond with a jelly bean when I got vulnerable. And it took about a year and a half for him to feel comfortable getting that vulnerable with me. So it is totally normal for you to be putting in a lot of effort and energy, wanting to move things to the next level, wanting to deepen the relationship, and the other person not quite there yet, not quite ready to get that vulnerable. And as I said to start the show, it takes hours and hours of shared experiences and vulnerability before we can move from an acquaintance to a friend, let alone a close friend. Everybody is on different comfort levels with their communication and their vulnerability. This is why I discussed earlier about meeting people where they are and leading them. Mm -hmm.